Yo, what up, what up, it's Kid CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So we back with another sneaker vlog. Yo, man, got a little goodie for the people today, man. We got the Iridescent, AKA the Easter Jordan 11s right here. Official colorway on these are going to be white, black, and emerald, okay, guys? Official um, retail price on this thing is going to be 175. Jordan brand, you're not slick, bro. We see you raising the prices of the low tops. I remember back in the day, these low tops used to be 110. Then you raised it up to 140, and here we are, 175 for the low tops. You got, you guys ain't slick, man. You know, but anyway, nonetheless, we do have this a little early. I do apologize. I could have got this video up like three days ago, but I was just busy doing some other stuff. But we're still gonna get this video up in enough time for you guys to see it, make up your mind, and hopefully help you guys to decide whether you wanna buy these things or not. Now, if you ask me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and I'm gonna tell you, don't buy these sneakers, all right? You know, don't go out there, don't spend your hard earned money on these shoes just yet, okay? I'm not saying don't buy them because they suck. I'm just going to give a little prediction and I'm going to say, that these sneakers are not like a must have right right now. Like, oh, when they drop, I gotta get these. I gotta bust these that same weekend. I feel like if you get these things, you probably won't be wearing these for another month or two anyways, especially if you got the All-Star 6s or the All-Star 1s. You know, this is not a sneaker you need to run out and get. And I feel like when it comes to these sneakers, Patience is going to be your best friend here, okay? I don't think these sneakers are actually gonna sell out extremely quickly, and I don't think the resale, I don't think the resale is going to be very high on these. I think you're actually gonna be able to get these for a steal, guys, all right? Jordan, Jordan 11s, they don't sit around, so no, you're not gonna be able to go to the mall and get these things a month later or three weeks later for retail, but I'm telling you, you wait around maybe two, three months, you're gonna catch somebody on eBay selling these things. You might be able to snipe somebody on an auction and get these for maybe like 110, 120 or something like that. I'm telling you, man, I wouldn't buy these for retail. I would wait, I would let patience be your friend, and then you'd be able to uh, scoop these things for a great steal, man. But nonetheless, the sneaker is a good sneaker, dog. You know, um, I'm feeling, you know, the whole little, iridescent reflectiveness on the uh the patent leather there the only gripe that i do have about that is in most lights it, it still doesn't look purple it doesn't look blue it just looks more green in certain lights like right now kind of looks like it's black or something like that like a little dark green or something when you go out there in the sunlight it looks like it's like a I don't want to say a dookie green, but it, it's a nasty green. You know, it's just all green on that patent leather. So you're not really going to be able to pull this off. I thought I was going to be able to pull this off, make it look like it's kind of like a Concord low, but that's not going to be the case here. This is definitely going to be green. Okay. So pictures are deceiving. If you guys have seen those pictures, just know this thing is going to be green. Don't try to match this thing up with all black. I know I'm wearing all black, but you know, make sure you got some green because this is gonna look green, especially when you get out there in the sunlight. You know, um, you know, but anyway, that's basically my thoughts on this whole sneaker. I know you guys came for the specs and the details, so I will be giving you that right now. So let's just go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. Bam, as you guys can see, we do have that iridescent running along the entire patent leather right there. And hopefully in this lighting, you guys can see that it just looks green. It doesn't look like a dark blue. It doesn't look purple. It doesn't look black. It's green. That's what that thing is. Jordan Brand switch it up on us a little bit. We do have that leather right there. We don't have the mesh like we're used to on the Jordan 11. I'm definitely used to the mesh, but uh, we got some leather and it is a pretty decent leather, man. I I'll give you a closer look at the leather right there. You know, as you guys can see, it's kind of tumbled when you press that thing down. So uh, definitely a, a, a decent leather. It's not cheap. It's not hard. It's not stiff. It doesn't feel like cardboard or anything like that. It's a decent leather. That's for sure. Let's go and take a look at the tongue right here bam we have the leather running on the tongue and then we also have our all white rope laces then we have that little emerald green jump man that's kind of right there in the middle as well so uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the flip side of this sneaker bam we have basically the same thing going on there we have that white leather then we have that iridescent patent leather running along the entire side of that sneaker we also have 
our white midsole right there. And then obviously you guys could see that iridescent outsole. We're gonna go ahead and get to the to uh, a closer look at that as well. But let's just go ahead and turn this sneaker around so you guys can see the back of this thing. You know, bam, there we go. More of that patent leather, but you guys can see we do have like an emerald or a lighter green right there for the 23 on the back as well. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of this thing because this is where they switch it up on us. So let's take a look at that right there. Bam, we have that iridescent bottom there. Now this, I like the shine on this. I like the fact that it does look purple, it does look green, it does look like a nicey blue. You know, I like the fact that it switches the tones right there. That's really interesting that they decided to do that on this one. They did the same thing on the sixes. I've had the sixes for about a year now. They're not turning yellow at all. So I'm really interested to know if these sneakers will turn yellow, you know, with age. We also have our black traction pods right there. And then we also have our carbon fiber plate right there as well, guys. So uh, yeah, man, that's basically it. This is a Jordan 11 low. It's nothing that you guys haven't seen before. I like lows. You can wear them with joggers. You can wear you can wear them with skinny, you know, jeans. Don't wear them with those super baggy jeans. And then you can also wear these things with shorts. So I just feel like this is a very universal sneaker. I feel like it is a, a dope sneaker to own. But like I said, I don't think you're gonna want to rush out there, spend $175 on this, because I think you'll be able to get it for a steal especially on eBay, you'll, you'll be able to get a great steal on this sneaker right here. So uh, that's basically that. Leave those comments down below. Let me know if you guys plan on copying the sneaker. Let me know your feelings overall. Jordan Brand, you know, they're trying out new colors and they're trying out new concepts and new colorways and things of that nature. We got a lot of those coming. They're not just releasing, you know, just the same old, same old. And I actually am a fan of that, man. I like the fact that they're switching it up. This definitely could have came out All-Star Weekend, but I, I kind of feel like, you know, with the flopping of what happened with the All-Star Sixes and the All-Star Ones, they didn't really want to dub this or try to campaign this you know, as an all-star sneaker because it might've flopped as well. They had a lot of dope sneakers to come out around all-star weekend anyway. So I feel like this would've kind of just fell at the bottom somewhere. I feel like this is the perfect way to release this sneaker as the Easter 11s. But uh, like I said, I'm just not feeling that price tag and I feel like you'll be able to get this for a steal. That's basically my opinion. That's my thoughts on it. You guys drop those comments down below. Let me know what you think of the Iridescent 11s. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell, turn on those notifications so you guys can get an email alert every single time I upload brand new sneaker content. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sign out. I appreciate all the love and uh, yeah, man. How do I go through the whole video and mess up on the outro? That's funny. But anyway, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love. Until next time, I'm signing out, man. Salute.